Savvy Sales Lady community. Are you scratching your head because you've already blown your goals so far in January? Is this a repeat from last year and from the year before and the year after that? All right, I'll stop. I'm sure it's a resounding yes. Here's the question. Why? Why is it that every year you commit the goals and can't seem to get halfway through January without caving? You've heard the saying, the bigger the why, the bigger the try. And you're probably saying right now, Christine, I have a huge why. Then why are you not trying? Why do you cave so easily? That's what this video is all about, so keep watching. Hi, I'm Christine Harrington, the Savvy Sales Lady, your personal YouTube sales coach, helping you to learn sales savvy intelligence so you can sell intelligent. So why do you cave so easily? First, you know what your goals are. And you also know you have 12 months to achieve those goals, right? So you give yourself a back door because after all, you've got 12 months to meet or exceed your goals. You procrastinate and say, I blew it, I'll make it up next month. But do you really make it up the next month? I doubt it. How many times have you told yourself that story? Now, stop telling that story and start telling a new story. Stop doing what you want to do and instead start doing what you should be doing. Winston Churchill said it best. It's no use saying, we are doing our best. You have got to succeed in doing what is necessary. Here's a tip. Shorten your timeline. Instead of telling yourself that you're gonna do it in 12 months, tell yourself you're going to do it in 10 months. Shorten your timeline. This shortened timeline will begin to give you more of a sense of urgency. Just stop and ponder that for a moment. You gotta meet and exceed your goals by October 1st instead of by December 31st. Doesn't that kind of give you a little bit of sense of urgency to get started now? It makes you a little anxious about shaving off those two months, doesn't it? Now, if you have monthly goals that you have to meet, instead of doing it in four weeks, do them in three weeks. It sure puts a different spin on things, doesn't it? Give me a thumbs up on this video if you're willing to try this tip. And I have more tips coming on goals, so be sure and hit that notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button too. Become a part of the Savvy Sales community. It's a community for all salespeople. And since you've made it this far, go ahead and look below and grab your morning checklist. It's free. You see, it takes more than doing something different. It takes becoming someone different. And you can start with the morning checklist. Grab it below. It's the morning checklist I use every morning. Why not start each morning setting yourself up for success? Remember this, sales is a journey. It's not a quick trip around the block. See you on the next video.